welcome back to another games video in this video i will be solving a warehouse location problem with two warehouses that are placed in a supply chain with uh, seven existing factories i will be using gams i will be using gams modeling language and i will be using uh, non-linear mixed integer programming for solving this problem if you're new to GAMS modeling language, then go back to my first video on GAMS. Um, I was solving a production planning problem in a supply chain. Uh, and in that video, I went uh, about the uh, GAMS modeling language in greater detail. So go ahead and watch that video first if you're new to the GAMS modeling language and um, get back to this video after you completed that video. Um, I should also say that this entire script is available in the video description. So you can copy it from there and use it as a template for the problem that you might be solving uh, as long as the, uh, the problem uh, from a conceptual point of view is identical to the problem I'm solving here. So again, just to introduce this problem, I have, uh, as I said, seven existing factories and I have two warehouses. Uh, the factories use the warehouses as temporary storage for intermediate assemblies. So each factory is going to ship product to a warehouse and later that product has to be shipped back to the same factory again. I would be assuming in this example that a factory is assigned to exactly one warehouse. And I will also be assuming that both warehouses will have to be located and it has already at this point been decided that we need two warehouses. So the problem is not about deciding how many warehouses um, or how much um, volume from a, respect uh, from a respective factory should be located at one or another warehouse. Rather, this problem is about locating two warehouses in a transport cost optimal way and to assign factories to one of those two warehouses in a way that transportation costs are minimal. With regards to the transportation costs, it is assumed that transportation costs scale linearly with the Euclidean distance between the warehouse and the factory. The Euclidean distance is in a two-dimensional surface straight line between two points. Um, so the straight line between a factory and a warehouse is um, the measure of distance and transportation costs uh, depend linearly on the distance. As well as transportation costs depend linearly on the material flow, so the sum of products being shipped along this distance. So those are the underlying assumptions and um, this is the underlying problem and I will now be modeling it using GAMS and GAMS modeling language. The first thing I do is I define two sets. One set is for the factories, the second one is for the warehouses. And then I specify parameters. The first one is a parameter that uh, runs over the factory domain. I call it demand. And this represents the storage demand by each of the factories. So we can see, for example, that factory A, the first factory, will be shipping 1,000 units of product to a warehouse and it will have to receive 1,000 units of product from a warehouse. Factory E, for example, will be shipping 250 units of product to a warehouse and it will have to receive 250 units of uh, product from that same warehouse. I also specify two parameters running over again the factory domain for the latitude and longitude coordinates of the existing factories. In terms of decision variables, the first thing I need to consider is the assignment. So as I stated up here, each factory is assigned. Each factory is assigned to exactly one warehouse. So I need a decision variable um, that allows me to decide whether a given factory is assigned to a, a given uh, warehouse. So uh, I define this uh, binary variable that can be either zero or one, um, which is running over the factory and warehouse domain. This um, variable will be set to 1 if this factory is assigned to um, this warehouse. 
then I define two decision variables which are continuous and positive and those will be the uh, latitude and uh, longitude uh, coordinates of um, of the warehouses to be located. The reason why I chose those as positive variables is because the uh, factory uh, latitude and longitude coordinates are all positive so I know that the optimal uh, location of the two warehouses I want to locate will be in the positive range. <coughs> Down here I specify the upper bound for both warehouses. Um, I'm setting that to 180 since this is the upper bound of the coordinate system. And then I specify another variable down here which basically represents the objective. I call it goal. So this is the variable representing the objective which is being optimized. Down here I define relevant equations. The first one is an equation which I will be using for modeling the objective function. The next one is an equation running over the warehouse domain. This is a uh, equation I will be using for the um, warehouse assignment constraint, meaning that one factory can only be assigned to one warehouse. And um, Oh no, the, 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 the locations uh, equation is an equation I use to ensure that both warehouses are located. And the second one here, the one called assigned, which is running over the factory domain, is the uh, constraint I will be using for ensuring that a factory is only assigned to one warehouse and exactly one warehouse. I specify the objective function down here. As you can see, it's running over uh, both the factory and the warehouse domain. And what I calculate here is the Euclidean distance between the warehouse J and the factory I. And I sum this up over all warehouses uh, in the set J and all uh, factories in the uh, set I. For each combination of factory and warehouse, I multiply the Euclidean distance um, with the binary uh, decision variable representing the assignment. So is this factory really being served by this warehouse? And I multiply it by the demand of the respective factory. So the amount of unit, uh, the amount of product being shipped um, from that factory. And then I set this equal to the, uh, this, uh, to the uh, objective variable, so the goal variable. And then I go on to um, modeling the constraints. So I specify the assignment constraint for <coughs> the factory domain as a sum running over all warehouses. Um, so I'm summing up all the binary variables for um, that given factory. And I set the sum to exactly one. So this makes sure that for each factory, um, uh, there's only one assignment taking place. So a factory is only assigned to one warehouse. The location constraint is down here. This is a sum running over all factories. And this is a constraint that's defined for every warehouse. <coughs> this one makes sure that um, you can see this is a greater than or equal to constraint. and the sum running all over all factories over the assignment variable, make sure that uh, at least one um, warehouse is assigned to, um, <coughs> that, that um, a warehouse, each of the warehouses is assigned to at least one factory. So this makes sure that, that all factories are being, uh, all warehouses are going to be used in this problem and, and both warehouses will be located and, 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 and and considered in this problem. So by now I uh, specified all the relevant information, which was the demand of the factories and their location. I specified decision variables that um, allowed for modeling the assignment of a factory to a warehouse and the um, position of a warehouse. And I modeled equations representing the transportation costs objective um, and the objective function um, for this, which is going to be uh, minimized as well as the assignment constraint of a factory being assigned to exactly one warehouse and um, each warehouse has to um, serve at least one factory. I can now 
uh, declare my model, I name it location problem, I include everything that has been stated up, up here, and then I solve it using mixed integer nonlinear programming, um, minimizing the um, implication class, so minimizing the objective function. So if I execute this, I have a solution. Um, solution. we found a optimal solution uh, we get the information reduced gradient less than tolerance um, so this is a solution that satisfies uh, tolerance uh, criteria we can see the um, as we can see th here that the first warehouse has been assigned to four factories. The second warehouse has been assigned to three factories. We can see that <coughs> each of the factories have been assigned to exactly one warehouse. Um, then we can see here that the first factory is assigned to the first warehouse. The second factory is assigned to the second warehouse. The third factory is assigned to the first warehouse and so on. This is the information that we can see here. And then we can see in terms of latitude coordinates, um, the latitude coordinates, the optimal latitude coordinates of warehouse one and warehouse two. And, oh no, here, those are the latitude coordinates of warehouse one and warehouse two. So those are the optimal latitude coordinates of warehouse one and warehouse two. And those are the optimal longitude coordinates of warehouse one and warehouse two. And we can see the uh, optimized transportation cost in this example equal 18,000, roughly 18,000 units of, of cost. So this is the solution to this problem. And um, this was uh, a way um, of modeling a decision problem of this kind um, using uh, mixed integer, mixed integer nonlinear programming. And if you have a similar problem, then as I mentioned, you can go to the video description, you can copy paste the script and you can use um, the model as a template for the uh, specific problem that you're trying to solve.